Hey everyone, it's Lucas and in this video I'm going to be going over the proxies tab with an AI bot and just pretty much explain how you can create your proxies list as well as just explain some of the general features that we have down there. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you want to create a list is to click on this here, add new. And once you get this, the first thing you're going to want to do is give your proxy list a name. Now the list could just be pretty much anything random. So it could be something like main proxy list, or it could be something like residential, residential proxies. So just pretty much whatever you feel like calling it, any sort of name that will be memorable for you so that you could identify the different proxy lists once you actually have a bunch of them here. So we could just leave it at that. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either allocate these proxies as monitor proxies or normal proxies. Now the general rule for the allocation for these two types of proxies is that for all sites or for the majority of sites, you will need to have 80% of your proxies as normal proxies and 20% of your proxies as monitor proxies. All right. There are some sites where you do not require any monitor proxies. So for example, Yeezy Supply or, or Adidas, uh, you could just have 100% of your proxies as normal proxies. But you know the general rule is for the majority of sites, just keep in mind you need 80-20. So if it's not specified in any sort of guide what type of allocation is used, then just stick to the default of 80-20. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your proxies list. So I just kind of made some fake proxies here, but usually the proxies list will have a format like this, similar to this, where you'll have the IP, the port, the username and the password. There are other types of proxies as well that you'll get that will only have the, use, the, the IP and the port as well. That's a topic that we can get into in another video. But for now, just know that, you know, whenever you buy a proxy from any provider, it'll usually look like this, where you'll get a bunch of proxies in a list and you could just pretty much just copy paste it into AI Obot. Yeah, so once you add the, the list of proxies, then you get to decide down here uh, what sites you want to allocate these proxies to. So you could pick specific sites if you want to or if you don't mind any site have if you don't mind having your list be allocated to any site then you could just pretty much click on all sites as well uh, some points over here as well is if you want a proxy list to be enabled you have to make sure that you have this ticked if you do not have this tick then this entire proxy list will not work for your tasks so you have to make sure that this is enabled before it drops if you don't have track tasks running on a normal basis, you can just pretty much keep this enabled at all times. If this is enabled, but you have no tasks running, then none of your proxies will be consumed. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, if by any chance you want to use your IP address as a proxy, then you will tick this as well. So it's pretty much instead of using a proxy, you could just use your current IP address. So you just tick that. Now, once you're done with that, uh, you can click save. But since I have five proxies, I want to make sure that I have 20% uh, as monitor proxies and have 80% as normal proxies. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to take 20% of my proxies, which in this case is just one proxy, and I'll leave that as a monitor proxy. And I'll click save. And then, or let me just get back into it. I'll call this monitor. monitor proxies and then I could create a new list and copy paste the remaining proxies that I have and allocate them as normal proxies and call this normal proxies can click on all sites as well here make sure to enable the list and just click save so now you have 80% of your proxies as normal proxies and then 20% of them as monitor proxies. 
Something quick to keep in mind here is that you never want to have the number of tasks exceed the number of normal proxies that you have. So if in this case, I only have four normal proxies, then I have to make sure that I have four or less tasks, right? If I want to have more tasks, then I got to make sure I increase the number of proxies. Now, some people ask like, what's a good number of proxies to have for each task? Well, let's say usually what I like to do uh, to play it safe, right? I'll try to have at least two to three or even four proxies allocated for each task. You know, if let's say you have five tasks, then you want to make sure that you have anywhere between 10, 15, even 20 proxies in your normal proxy list, right? And usually if you buy a residential proxy plan, then you can generate as many proxies as you want. So that wouldn't be a particular issue. Now, if you are using DC proxies, then you can keep it a one to one uh, ratio since, you know, when you purchase a DC proxy plan, it comes with a certain number of proxies. So if you buy a plan with, let's say 10 proxies, 10 DC proxies, then you can just have you know, let's say nine proxies here and then one here, or maybe eight here and two in, in monitor proxies. And then if you have eight normal proxies, then you can just have eight tasks set. And now to go down to the other buttons as well here. So this is the delete all. So let's say you have a bunch of proxy lists and you just kind of want to delete them quickly. You can just click that. If you just want to delete an individual list, then you click on this. If you want to edit a particular list, then you'll click on the pencil and you can pretty much edit your list. If you want to test your proxies, you can either click on this button over here or you can click on this to open the tester and to you can here add your proxies. Now, I personally recommend you not to use either this or that. I actually recommend you download the Fog London proxy tester. And that's a proxy tester that is widely used in the sneaker bot community and it is a very consistent tester and it is the one that gives you a very high accurate reading as well and it also makes sure that you know you don't get your proxies banned when testing uh, i will be leaving the link to that in the description so make sure you download that and you test the proxies over there normally i don't suggest people to test using the aio bot uh, proxy tester and uh, yeah, if you want to buy any of A and B proxies, you could always click on this link and it will redirect you to the website for A and B proxies. Now, something quick to note as well is just because you are using AIOBot, it does not mean that you have to purchase your proxies from here. Uh, AIOBot supports any sort of proxy that you have. So you could either purchase the proxies from here, but you could also purchase the proxies from one of our proxy partners on the Discord channel, or you could just buy it from wherever, right? Uh, it's, it's all a matter of preference. It's all a matter of uh, seeing what works and what doesn't work. And one very last note that I did not mention before is to know if a proxy list is enabled or not, you have to make sure that the circle over here is green. When you click on it and it's red, that means that the proxy list is disabled. So please keep in mind that in order for the proxies to be activated during the drop, for them to actually be used for your tasks, you have to make sure that the list is enabled. I've seen a lot of people that have kept this disabled and it has cost them the drops multiple times. So please make sure that this is enabled at all times, right? If you don't have any tasks running in general, then to just play it safe, you could always keep this enabled, right? But other than that, pretty much covered how to set up your proxy list with an AI OBOT. And uh, a, a later video that we will be publishing will also explain in, in more depth uh, about proxies. Uh, and gives you much more information about the types of proxies that you have to use on different types of sites. But for now, you know, if you just want to set up your proxy list, this, uh, this is all that you need to know. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.